This video is a request from a subscriber. His name was Dave and he wanted to make a mini car out of a normal image. So we click this one here and we'll make it a scenario. Uh, let's say we uh, a friend sends you this car make you envious of what he's got. He's got his new car. So we duplicate the image by this button here. Now we go to our scale tool, click on there and just move, click in the area and squeeze our car up so it looks like a little squeezed up little mini car and then click on scale. Now move that image below, click on the top one, go to my elliptical tool, click expand from the center and fixed ratio. Move to the center of the axle and just expand out and grab the tire and wheel. Go to edit and put it on the clipboard by clicking copy. Now we move our large image down below again, go back to our mini car, activate the layer, go back to edit and paste. And it gives me a floating selected pasted layer. Click this icon here to make it a complete layer. Go to my move tool, click move the active layer and move it into position just over the over the panel in there like so. Now I go back to uh, edit once again and paste another copy of the wheel. It gives me another floating selected layer. Click that one there to make a complete layer. My move tool is selected and now I move it to the front. Now we've got our funny little mini car. Now I click the top layer and merge down. That brings those two layers together. Now I go to layer and add a layer mask. Add a layer mask. Add. Now I'll just increase this a little by hitting the plus key on the keyboard and you can see what's happening. I'll go to my paintbrush tool. Now the color is black. And I'll increase the brush just a fraction and just paint in there to reveal the panelling over the tyre because the tyre wouldn't set out from the wheel like so. Be careful not to um, show the previous tyre underneath. So it's a bit tricky doing the panelling. Part there. And I might I'll reduce my brush by clicking the icon there and bringing it down. Just titivate that little tiny bit up there and the other one there. Now I do the same with the front one. I move the brush up just a bit more and bring the panel in behind the door because the wheel would not be sitting over the front of your door. So now we reveal the panel in underneath. Be careful once again not to reveal the other wheel because that's what will happen. Now I just cl uh, click there and, and bring that part of the panel in down and bring it into there. To reduce my brush a little come back and just titivate those little bits up there. That's pretty good there. Now I go to top layer, right click on it and merge down. There I have it. Now I need to move it up just a fraction. It's about right. Go to my crop tool and click in there and crop that image. Press enter. I click on the bottom layer, we're no longer required and put it in the waste bin. Now to finish our little scenario, I go to my text tool, I change the colour to white, click OK. Now I move the text, uh, choose a bold text, click on the little edge of the text there and choose a reasonably bold one, bring the text up a bit large and just type in there a nice little compliment. Enlarge the text so it, it um, there we go. Okay. Now I come down to the bottom here and click in there and I change my colour back to black. So I click on that one because the the, uh, the road is black and click OK. And then I type my text in there. Text tool. 
and that's a little bit of a a rub back bring the text down so it fits the postcard click on the top layer and merge or flatten image there we have it our little mini car and Rick sent a photograph of his new car and I had a little bit of a nudge back at him you said it was a V8 so thanks Dave for your request and I hope it fits uh, with your requirements